we all love to dream of destinations that offer peace and quiet and some time off the grid. And the summer months are definitely made for getaways, both short and long stays. So we want to talk a little bit now about those amazing places across Canada that offer a bit of a rustic escape from the hustle and bustle. You know, they're saying now that time and peace and quiet is the new luxury, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So I found, a, I found a spot, and listen, I'll be totally honest, anyone who watches this show knows I'm not a camper, okay? <laughs> But what's cool about this, this location, it's called Cabinscape. So what they do is they offer custom designed, low impact, ecologically sound, tiny cabins for rental. But look at how beautiful these cabins are. Oh, wow. What caught me in the first picture was the glass of wine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're away from it all. You're unplugged. So you, it's, so they're, they're beautiful. They offer beautiful amenities. There's an indoor and an outdoor bar. You're off the grid. <laughs> Some of them have a private dock. It's very secluded. You're in a natural environment. And I think it's really good for the soul mm -hmm. and to connect with other human beings and not necessarily the ones like through your phone, like the yeah. ones through technology. So I think it's a lovely thing for people to consider. Now, when it comes for being, uh, to being off the grid, you have done, Janice, a <laughs> fabulous job of doing this with your kids. Yes, me. Have, you. I have done it. Yes. yes. And you're <laughs> a little bit like me. Like, yeah. you're not, it's not necessarily your jam, no, but you're doing it. it's not like my first idea of what I want to do is to go off the grid and yes. hang out in a treehouse. But my kids love it. They love it. They are like nature kids. And I left the country to move to the downtown city. Yeah. We live downtown, and they love going out there. Wow. You can't run in grass in the city yeah. with your bare feet, right? Because right. you're going to run across something else. That's right. So <laughs> they, they love this whole very, you know, it's remote. We don't do very well in hotels because we like to actually use the space. We live outside. Right. And so I found a property in Mont Tremblant and it's on the, the, the forest. So you can just, you have these trails, you can wander. Oh, it's wow. got all these tiers and layers. There's a rooftop deck. Yes. We would be there. We wouldn't be inside. So it doesn't matter what is inside. We just need to be able to eat inside and then we're out. Good for you. Yes. And lots that of card great. games. Card games. Lots of cards. So we play many. a lot oh of my cards. Gracious. Yes. Okay, Frankie, what have you got for your dream destination? Well, you know, I like about roughing it, and I think as a couple, we should go out and rough it in the wilderness. So yes. I, I picked this place that is probably the toughest place to live. It's Whispering Pines Wilderness Retreat. Now, okay. this is what you call it, camping. <laughs> this here is a luxury camping or glamping uh, in eastern Ontario where you can go there and bring nothing but just a little bit of food and some wine. Look at the bed sheets that they wow. have there, upper linings, and there is also a bar. <laughs> is there? <laughs> But you can I do you can do yoga, and okay. you can also book a massage. Now that is roughing it in the oh, wilderness. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> yes. So it's like so you're glamping it. You're in a tent. You're out there in the woods, but there's a king size bed in the tent. There is. And you could potentially have a massage. Yeah. And so there's, there's, there's a, other people around. There's a mini fridge as well. There's a mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> camp with you. Yeah, okay. I would camp with you. Carson, what did you bring for us? Well, Dream you know, destination. I'm, I'm a huge advocate for Prince Edward County and the yes. fact that the county sort of exploded on a global scale with Condé Nast coming in and doing, uh, you know, a whole expose on our amazing spaces. So yeah. I really want to talk about a little motel that could. It's the one that just sort of has taken over. It's the June Motel. Okay. And I love it. It's just outside of Picton, but what's great about this particular location is it's an old vintage motel. Like it's very, mm. you know, there's some horror TV shows that were kind of designed around this, <laughs> but they've made it beautiful. A lot of pink, a lot of fresh colors. Yeah. Really popped it up. Surrounded by wineries, mm -hmm. right off the water. Like it is so perfect for parking your bike and away you go. Right. But then I had another one for you, Tracy. Okay. Yeah. And then, and you know, I really wanted you to get into that whole whining <laughs> experience. So right. that's why my whole thing was you can get picked up at the June Motel by a private driver, yeah. taking you to the wineries, dropping you off, taking you to the next one, bringing you back to the hotel, motel, and you're done. That's the way to do right? it. That's right? A, that's a day trip. It's the responsible way to exactly, do it. Exactly, exactly. So clearly we all have a problem here on this panel. <laughs>